iOS 17.4. You guys may have heard about this story with iOS 17.4 and alternative iPhone app stores with the EU. This story is over on 9to5Mac.com. This comes by way of a new policy passed by the EU where they had Apple had to allow third-party marketplaces for fair competition uh, to work on the iOS devices, but it's only for EU. Now, this story says that if you leave or travel outside the EU, then your third-party app store will cease to function. This is what the article reads. It says, iOS 17.4 in the European Union brings Apple's first operating system release that complies with regulatory framework of the Digital Markers Markets, Markets Act. This includes support for alternative app stores, or as Apple calls them, alternative app marketplaces, which allow iPhone users to download apps from outside the walls of the Apple App Store for the first time. But perhaps more, perhaps more surprisingly, it also turns out that existing app marketplaces you have downloaded to your device will stop working if you leave the EU for too long. Apple explains this in their documentation. They said that you must be your Apple uh, ID must be housed or you must be from one of these countries or your account should be based in one of these countries, Austria, Belgium, blah, blah, Sweden. Um, and you have to be physically located in the EU. So as long as your Apple ID origin is one of these countries and you physically reside in them, the app marketplace features will be available. However, if you go beyond the grace period and you leave those those places, you won't be able to use the alternative app market and you won't be able to update your apps that came from that alternative app market. The exact period of time is not specified. Now, here's a statement that this article says that I don't, don't know if I agree with completely. It says that this potential customer service support problem is yet another reason why third party developers may be unwilling to, may be unwilling to embrace the third party app store system. Now, I don't know if it's a support problem. That's the thing I don't agree with. It is a reason why that third-party app developers will be unwilling to embrace it because of this potential issue. But this isn't a customer support problem. This is more of a regulatory regulatory problem. It's much like things with Netflix and and different, you know, if you go to Amazon.ca, they have different things going on there based on your country. If you go to Netflix from a different country, there's regulations dictating what you can do and can't do from certain countries. This happens to fall in one of them. Even if you disagree or agree with the story, that's pretty much, that's irrefutable. This is a function of this Digital Market Act, um, which only applies to EU. So if you leave the EU, you know, I don't know how Apple could just let you get away with it, you know? I think they would be under, they'd probably be under... Um, they might be under fire or they might even be held liable for what some potential issues that could crop up if someone were to access an alternative app store from outside of the EU. If Apple didn't do anything to prevent them from doing that, they will be held liable in court. So I think that's why there's see why they're covering their, their tracks here is because once you leave the EU, that digital market act no longer applies. Apple won't be protected by any unforeseen things or the thing I'm thinking about is malware. So if you download an app from a third-party app store that has malware on it and somebody sues Apple for letting me do that, which you know is going to happen. You let me download the app. Why would you let me download it? Apple's going to say, well, you know, that's part of the Digital Market Act in the EU. You were in the EU, so the fault's on you. But if this person was in Canada or in the U.S. and they did it, and they can argue that, hey, Apple, you should have did more to prevent me from doing that. See, this this becomes this legal tug of war that could potentially make Apple liable. So I don't think it's a <clears throat> I don't think it's a customer support problem as much as it is just a regulatory territory problem because that's just how these things are. Um, and yeah, this regulatory territory problem is probably going to be a reason why third party developers may be unwilling to embrace third-party app store systems because of that limitation and because of the headache that comes with it if you leave for an extended amount of time, which a lot of people may do. But we don't know what the actual, um, we don't know what the exact actual, actual grace period is. It says the exact period of time for the grace period is unknown. So if you go on, for, on a week holiday, that may not be a problem. But if you go away for on a business trip for two weeks to a month or three months, who knows when that, that grace period is? This is very similar to like the Netflix thing with uh, sharing accounts and stuff. You know, it's like this. 
It's all location-based mumbo-jumbo, which I don't like anyway. Check the story out over on 9to5Mac.com. They got the details about this particular issue, which is coming up because of iOS 17.4 alternative app iPhone app stores and how if you leave the EU, how they can stop functioning or even worse, you know, you probably can't update your apps if there's a uh, a security issue or something like that. So it's something to keep your eye on if you're in the EU and you're planning to travel outside. Check it out. They got details over there.